processes I mean you know when I talk to a lot of people on the podcast they talk about you know having process documents and all of these things put together first is that what you've had to do with your teams how detailed did you have to get before bringing someone on yeah we actually for me I look at uh, okay what they can do what they did in the past we it it different between software engineers and other people right for for us we look at the past we look at how we always give them a small project and we always hire people who did remote work before right uh, because they might not have a good house situation right because like if you have kids you have to some kind of know of, uh, have some kind of an office kind of environment in your house or you need to have a very close proximity to a, um, an office space, right? So, or a shared office space environment. So we, we always hire remote people. We have, uh, we always look people's character more than their talents, actually. Like, are they smiley, nice, have fun, have talked to? And then second is, we, we look at the cultural fit first than the talent fit. fit. How interesting. So what are you looking for for a good culture fit for a remote team? Yeah, that's a great question. Like one is, uh, first of all, we we always get very, our culture is a little bit maybe different. Our, our people is like, first of all, what is what their hobbies are and what they are doing in our company is sort of same, right? If you leave this guy and don't give him any job, will he do the same thing that he's doing in our company? This is the number one thing that we look at. So it's their hobbies and work, their work become the same, right? So mm -hmm. uh, this is the number one. And the second thing is we try to look people who is like very hardworking, enjoying uh, what they are doing and very honest and have a creative mind to uh, learn things very quickly in a very, very short time and can come up with something better than what is the current status quo, right? This is this is what we look at in nearly everyone. And I have 22 Very other cool. things that I look at, but that's totally detailed. <laughs> uh, I hired 250 people in my life. It's like 253 people. So I have like a good sense of... Uh, and I build a, some kind of a knowledge base around this. So these are the things we are looking. We don't care their school. We don't care where they are. Um, but I do positive discrimination. So meaning is we, we if there is a, a similar person, but we need to have more diversity. We try to do give, uh, <clears throat> let's say one is three year experience. One is two and a half years experience, but it's di for us, the diversity is more important. So we select that over the experience. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what are some, like, what are some surprising things that you, or, or some, you're always kind of secretly looking for having hired that many people? So What's a tip off that you're like, that person's going to be great? Yeah, I this is so weird, but it's it's like uh, you know it when you meet them actually. So when you like, <clears throat> I am like when we even our team is like when you have the first cultural call or when you have the first call or when you are they are in the through the interview process, your initial intuition, em empathy to them. And what you feel at that time is always right over the time. So let's say if you have concerns about them, that concerns become a problem. 
And there's a very funny thing that Elon Musk said, like, how do you hire? He says, gut feeling. <laughs> so my gut, mm -hmm. gut feeling, right? So it's like, yeah. it's, it's really that. I'm seeing that. And the more that I don't listen my gut feeling, uh, the more mistakes I always did. And it's, it's 99, 95%. It's always true. And sometimes, okay, ugh, I, I, we see these red flags. But it looks great on paper. Let's hire her or him or other um, them. Uh, and it always end up uh, having more cultural problems because in, you solve these red flags, but you still hire them. Yeah. So that that energy aura uh, is always sort of or most of the time right. So even we made a mistake, it's not right, but in the long term or in in the statistical way we are